Let's take a look now at a really useful little trick in QGIS. We've got an OpenStreetMap base layer and we've got a boundary file for Nigeria. It's a polygon and if I double click it, we can see in the symbology section that I've applied an inverted polygon and it's got white fill and the stroke style is no pen, so there's no boundary. But the inverted polygon turns everyone else on and leaves Nigeria blank. That's fine, but it's a little bit tight around the boundary. So sometimes we might want to give it more space. Let me show you what I mean. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change symbol layer type from simple fill to geometry generator. This is really, really useful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buffer it. So the way this works is I'll type in buffer and then an open bracket. The geometry with a dollar sign before it just represents the shape itself. You don't need to change that. I'll put a comma in and I'm going to put in 50,000. And I'm going to close those brackets. Now, when I hit apply, you'll notice the shape of Nigeria changes. So it gets smaller. Now, the reason for that is because this is a, an inverted polygon we're dealing with, the buffer goes the opposite way to what we might expect. So in this case, we just need to put a minus sign before the buffer value. And 50,000 there represents 50,000 meters because that's the units that our data sets in. So it's 50 kilometers. So now when I click apply, you'll see we get a nice 50 kilometer buffer around our shape. And compared to the original, it just gives it a little bit more breathing space. It's a nice technique if you want to see what's nearby and you can change those values to whatever you like. So in this case, I'm going to give it a 100 kilometer buffer, 100,000 meters. I'll click apply and OK. And there you can see what it looks like. So sometimes this is a really useful cartographic technique in QGIS.